Hi, um, Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. Hi. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about a um, about the Ascension journey and those of you who consider yourself, oh, well, we're all, if you know, well, we're not all actually, and I'll talk about that in the two minutes. But for those of you who are considering yourself on the Divine journey of spiritual union, um, this is definitely for you. Um, I know a lot of us are thinking that, um, you know, we're divine feminines and we have divine masculines. Um, but the truth is we are both. Um, he is both. You are both. I am both. We are, we are both. Um, and that's what the journey really is. Now, keep in mind that being said, some of us do have divine counterparts that do exist in other realms and on other dimensions. Um, not all of us do. So you do have to definitely be aware of false ascension matrixes. And these things are not really known. And it's not, you know, it's for those who are ready to um, know the truth. So the truth of the matter is there are many different types of entities that exist at many different types of levels. And there are many different shapeshifters. There are many different demonic entities that can also shapeshift into anything and anyone. Um, they can shapeshift into me. They can shapeshift into you. They can shapeshift into whoever you consider to be your divine masculine. Um, there are a lot of technologies. Like I said, you are technology. And if you're not connected to the right technology, you're never going to actually ascend. And you're never going to actually um, interact with your true divine counterpart or your true other self. Which could also be your divine counterpart, if that makes sense. If it does not, please comment below. So, there are many. Ascension is all about technology. Your divine counterpart is technology. You are technology. It's all technology. Um, the world is plagued with many different um, technologies. One being the 5G beam. Okay, this beam, it, from my experience, has been a um, like a portal between other realms and us now this is not a good <laughs> portal actually link that is that you know that is connected to us like right here you have a link to me that's exactly what the 5g beam do so if you're not aware of it you don't understand that that and that beam can also interfere in your ascension then it's going to interfere in your ascension and you're just not going to know it they can project many different things like one you guys there definitely is something called the digital twins now this is not your counterpart this is definitely like a hall this is a technology that they use where they put like a cloned um or a person that you think is your twin into like this digital box um once again you're not awakened you don't know you're not connected to technology you're not you don't have this you don't even have this understanding that this is a digital twin. This is a program that is run by a lot of shadow governments. I love that this little line is here because I've been doing like a lot of work. So I feel like the light is actually coming in to me and to you. Um, so that being said, you do have a lot. You do have it to be very careful. There are black boxes. There are ascension mechanisms and tools called black boxes where they can actually assimilate you being on a journey, but you're really in a box or you know, we have um, different things that happen on different levels. You know, we have galactic level, uh, lunar, moon level. Um, and a lot of these programs that you guys think you're on, or I've been here myself where it's been very moon oriented. Um, the moon is very inorganic to us. Okay, if you're a star seed, you must know that. Um, well, you know, the moon, def and then I'm a Leo. Not that I really want to get into astrology, but I'm a Leo, so you can understand how... I am a sun. I am the sun. The sun is the gateway into many universes. And so the moon being inorganic, the sun being organic, the sun being um, the sun, talking in terms of who we are. We are zodiacs. We are really are um, the world. We are the planet. We are everything. So if I am the sun and the moon is artificial and the moon has technology, the sun has technology, the sun is organic. Okay. Um, the moon is going to block a lot of my light. I constantly deal and keep in mind, every zodiac has technology there. There are ETs and guardians on each of these zodiacs. Okay, the government is on each of these zodiacs, especially the moon. Okay, the moon is a satellite. If you can understand 
I don't really like to use the word star I don't want to use the word Star Trek, but that's a good that's a good thing for you to um that's a good way to understand. There are hubs there are hubs on each of these um on each of these um zodiac signs. So you have hubs here. You have guardians here and you have um you have guardians there and then you have hubs there that are doing that are projecting false ascension matrix. Um a lot of the false ascension matrix are very dark. I'm a shadow worker, so I constantly deal with all of these stuff. And so you have a lot of moon energies, a lot of moon. Like the moon is like, I don't want to say army, but I can't really think of another word right now. But it is like a militia. There's like a militia on all of these zodiac signs. So that's why we also have to ascend. You have to know what where you're ascending to, okay? You have to have a guide. You kind of have to know, you know, who's who and who's not who okay that being said remember in the earlier part of the vid in my video i said that we're all divine beings and we're all divine masculine and i said no some of us are not some of us are not so um that being said there are people here that are actually agents and representatives of all of these militias here just like i could be i'm definitely a representative of my guardians here um they step down and they communicate with me and they embody me and I embody them. And then you have those same types of um, people, entities that can actually do that. They actually embody someone. They choose someone or it's it was just planned that way. Not divine plan, but it was just planned that way. So there are many types of realms, different types of people that do exist here. There are many types of species. A lot of reptilians, um, and not all reptilians are bad. I don't really want, and the reptilians are really, the bad reptilians are really refugees. So I really, I deal with them constantly. They're refugees and they really have hold, they have strong holds. I don't under, I don't even understand how they have such strong holds. But then I do because if you study history, you understand how they intruded and they invaded and they basically forced their way or plummeted their way into society. So then we have all of these gods, all of this nonsense, all of this, all of this nonsense. So you have to be very careful in terms of what you're doing here. So like I was saying, you have non-people. So not everybody can possibly be your divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart will never be... Um, evil no th that's not any none of that nonsense is true none of your divine counterpart will never be married he will never be this he will never be that and you have to keep in mind not that there's anything wrong with being a lesbian or not that there's anything wrong with being homosexual but there is an agenda with these militias on these planets you have mar you know we're dealing with a lot of mars energy so if you feel like you're constantly in a war or there's like constantly struggle. This is, yes, this is the age of illumination, but there are war, there's war going on against that illumination path. So a part of the illumination path that is being um, resisted is Mars. So you have, you constantly feeling like you're constantly getting like this heavy energy, whether you're at work, shopping, wherever you could possibly be doing, you know, you're just here and you feel like that harsh energy is because we are dealing with resistance from Mars. Um, the planet is just heavily engaged with Mars right now. And so you need to know this. The planet is nothing personal like when you experience these different interactions or when you experience these different tactics. It's just about where the planet is positioned right now, what the Guardians have planned um, for us to ascend. It has positioned us into be direct kind of conflict with Mars. So... If I am not an Aries, but I can also transform into anything. So when something is, sometimes I do take on, you know, different types of battles. So I might become, let's say, um, planet X is, has done something in the past. I might become a planet X um, inhabitant just so that I could transmute that energy, if that makes sense. Because you can't really... Um, you can't really understand something until you kind of become that thing. So in order to kind of um, kind of balance the energies, because you kind of have to balance the energy, I might be responsible 
or my guardian might want me to become that thing just so that I could equalize that energy and balance that energy in the planet somehow. So that's where we're at. So if you're feeling like you're constantly being bombarded by somebody or something or some energy is just so hard, that's what that is. We are in constant interaction with Aries. Now, if you're Aries and you feel like you're constantly dealing with that energy, that's because that's where we're at. Um, also, we're in we're dealing with structures now. So when I say structures, the planet is also under heavy regulation um, by structure. This is the age of structure. So you must know what you're doing, must know what you're building, must understand who you are, um, what your purpose is here. Because we're in the age of Aries, which is war, and then we're in the age of structure, which is that Taurus energy. Um, Taurus energy is very grounded. It's an earth energy. So if you can understand this. I'm going to use myself as an example. I am a sun sign. So can you imagine if a Taurus, who is an earth sign, and we're in the age of Taurus, comes with this energy of structure, how that's going to make me feel. So I might have to take on that energy of a Taurus just to kind of um, balance out that energy. So right now, you we have to be able to discern these things and to understand that we are more than just who we are told we are in terms of star seeds and so forth and so on. Um, and you have to understand that you're going to have different um, experiences. Not all of them are going to be pleasant. I mean, just keep that in mind. So you do have divine masculines and you do have divine feminines and you definitely do. And they definitely do exist and reside in other realms and other dimensions. They absolutely do. But there are also many other things that exist there as well. And you're not always protected and you're not always going to be shielded because you're going to be expected to know certain things. And until you understand and master certain things or until you understand what it is, you're actually not going to get any results with that. So be aware that they can assimilate your entire reality. Okay, you can, um, we are magnetic beings. We have magnetic bodies. We are in a magnetic field. We're electrical beings. We're in an electrical field. So how was the world created with light and with sound? So if we are trying to ascend or if we are we want to ascend or if we think we're going to ascend and we don't really anticipate that there's going to be a lot of forces that can actually really duplicate or replicate that and make you appear to be ascending when you're really not ascending or really resistant to you ascending. They're really resistant to your ascension because if you ascend, you could possibly help someone ascend or you can actually change some energies um, in the planet. So you have to be aware that your entire journey as a divine masculine and as a divine feminine can be um, usurped. And also, a lot of divine masculines don't really know that they're divine masculines. I mean, they don't have, a lot of them don't know that they're star seeds. So you have a lot, and you have them under heavy warfare. And it's like, they're kind of zombies. They don't really know that these kind of things exist. Like, you would think that, but they, they, some of them don't. So these are just different scenarios that you have to be aware of. Um, many of these divine men, I just want to say like, listen, my room is like the, the universe. And this is me up here with the light and awaken and doing this. And he's all the way down there thinking that's normal. So for him, he's kind of, um, he's been numbed or he's kind of been enshrouded and he doesn't really know that he's enshrouded, you know. Um, he doesn't know that he's just enshrouded. He just thinks that these are normal behaviors um, that I should be doing because he's kind of robotic. Okay. So you have to just be very careful. Now, you have to be very careful also because um, while we do grid work, why do we do grid work? Because they do grid work. Okay. How they do grid work is they travel in starships. They travel in fleets. Um, they travel in ships. They travel in many different ways. And so do the guardians. The guardians travel in their light ships. The guardians travel in their own light ships. So you have to understand that it's kind of like a battle for, for the world. For you and for 
for you and for IES. And just to maintain control over the life. They really kind of want to keep people in this delusion that the world is ending and that, you know, um, Armageddon is here and, oh, Jesus Christ is coming and, you know, all of these little fearful things. So you're not enjoying your life. You're not eating right. You're not eating healthy. You're out here just stressed out. You're not, you know, you're not even really able to ascend because you're so stressed out. You think that every day the world is ending. And these are programs that they run. Religion is a program. <laughs> Religion is a program that this is why you have to understand that you're technology. You must understand that in order to be a star seed, you have to understand that you are technology. It's they run their technology and you run your technology. And to be quite honest, that is the Antichrist. Okay. I know it's very hard to understand that religion could be the antichrist the reason why it's the answer is because it's anti you if you notice that for example jihad how why in the world would someone that created you who's supposed to be your god tell you to kill yourself that's very you can very see that that's the antichrist so that's anti you christ is just you your technology that's it a lot of us don't know that we're technology. A lot of us don't even know that we're supposed to use technology. A lot of us don't understand who created technology. A lot of us think technology is new. A lot of technology is not new. Technology has been around from ancient, 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 uh, ancient. And this is what they want you to know. I keep telling you guys that you guys have access to energy in the Earth's core. And you have access to crystals that are buried in the earth core that are there that are nutrients to you and to i a lot of people always <laughs> tell me very much as of lately that i look extremely young and i'm really not i mean they real. i mean people really feel like i'm young because when you're connected to really divine source and when you're connected to true light um you know it, it just changes you you're healthier you you just you just have made better decisions you just are happy or you're blessed as well you're kind of abundant i can turn away you know opportunities now you know before i couldn't turn away now but now i don't really have to really worry much about anything now i can actually say okay i'm good i'm gonna stay home today and i'm just gonna do this i'm just gonna do um my journeys but that's what i really wanted you to know that your ascension journey even your divine masculine you know can be sleeping can be a zombie you know and, you know, cannot even know that he's really what a star seed, a earth seed, a light worker, an angelic being. Most of them do not know. So some of them, and I won't blame them because this is what they want, this is, you know, what exactly what they would want me to do. Um, you know, some of them can be assholes, you know, I mean, and it's, and they don't really understand. They really don't know that, no, this is not how <laughs> supposed to be. Like they don't really are equipped to fight you know they're not really equipped to even deal with the forces that can possibly come against them so this is also the age of where the divine feminine and i don't really even like the divine feminine because i that makes you kind of become a princess which you're not a we are not princesses um and it's just very important for you to understand that even though i'm saying divine feminine i'm just I'm speaking in terms of just sexual energy, divine energy, divine feminine. That's all it is. It's not really... When you say feminine, it's like this whole persona, false gender roles. You're thinking gender roles when I say divine feminine. This is really what society teaches us. I'm not really speaking about old gender roles. Oh, I cook, I clean, I am. So that's me, that makes me a feminine. No. Um, ancient back when matriarchs ruled this world matriarchs created a lot of this technology fyi so i don't really know if you know that but matriarchs used to run everything okay this was not always a patriarchal um world no the patriarchs actually killed <laughs> the feminine this is why you don't have mother in church this is why you don't have the female represented in the church in the godhead in the church this is why in the churches the females are not allowed to really be speak feel think do act express any of that nonsense so so that's how history keeps repeating itself because way back then they did the same thing to the to the um matriarchs they silenced the matriarchs they killed the matriarchs and they put the matriarchs underground so a lot of our guardians are really underground trying to figure out 
how can we clean this nonsense up and kind of come back? So a lot of your guardians are really kind of like laying low, um, monitoring what's going on and really planning their return. So a lot of the stuff that are happening to you and I are not even really true. Like I used to not be awakened. I used to not know. I used to be, I used to go to church, but I never really, really, really could deal with the church only because I am very... Um, in my soul and in my spirit, I'm not fluffy, fluffy, but when I dress up, sometimes I can appear very fluffy, fluffy. And so people can really take that the wrong way because they're not awakened. They don't really know what I'm really made of, or they don't really know the substance that I carry because I might have on pink lipstick or I might have on pink eyeshadow or I might have this in my hair. I might, I wear like a lot of fluffy stuff, but I'm not fluffy, um, at all. People get that very, that's what I mean by gender roles. You know, they genderify. She has on pink. She must be fluffy, huffy, puffy. And then when I speak and I open my mouth, it's like, oh, she's not nice. You know, which I don't really care. I'm not really trying to be nice. But that's also why I really couldn't stay there because I couldn't express myself. So I wasn't really being true to me. So I already knew that. And by what I'm doing, I already know that I already kind of see who I am in past lives before reincarnation. Because a lot of us are still you know, dealing with trying to incarnate, even though we have already reincarnated, we're trying to incarnate into our true identities as star seeds and trying to, and earth seeds and earth children, because we are really, most of us are earth children. Not everybody on planet earth is even human. Okay. Not everybody on planet earth is even human. Okay. So, um, I think that'll be like your first the first thing that you should realize is not everybody on earth is, is human. So you kind of have to be very careful. Now that you know that not everybody on earth is human, you can understand how you have to be very careful about your divine masculine and being on that divine masculine journey. I used to be on that divine masculine journey. And oh my God, um, there's a lot of false teachers who have been hijacked. Um, speaking of hijacked, Archangel Michael, please, if you're on my channel, do not call on Archangel Michael. I would rather you actually call me or email me, please. Um, there's no Archangel Michael, okay? Um, if you think about it this way, sometimes I'm at work and I'm pulled in so many directions. I'm worn out. I don't have any more to give. I'm just giving this as an example because I, they never treat, they, I'm not treated like that at work. Um, my company does not treat us like that. I'm blessed to have a great company. They just really don't. They care. But some people don't. So some people are running around and their hair is like, well, so that's what happens. We have, as a society, have destroyed Archangel Michael. So who's Archangel Michael now? A demonic force. Um, Archangel Michael is someone who has been captured. Okay. He has been captured because everybody has been taught to go to Archangel Michael. So if I and you keep going to Archangel Michael... What is going to happen to Archangel Michael? Archangel Michael cannot be everywhere at the same time. So Archangel Michael is replicated, duplicated, and cloned. Does that make sense? That has to make sense to you. That has got to make sense to you because it just clicked to me too. If I'm calling him and you're calling him at the same time, he cannot be here at the same time. So what happens? You're getting a clone and I'm getting a clone. So what does that mean? He's been hijacked. So that's what I'm saying. People, these things and these forces can definitely... Um, become you and become I because we've all been cloned and captured and we don't really know how to deal with that stuff um we don't really know that we're being we don't know who's doing it I mean we don't even know how to begin to even fight these different wars and some of them um we're not gonna all win right now um some of us will probably you know we're not dying we're just gonna go and go be with our guardians and continue to ascend so if you think that your ascension is just while you're on earth, that is false. Um, you continue to ascend because all of, you can't, or you won't complete your ascension here on earth. You'll continue, you can't complete your ascension on earth. You have to kind of maintain your, your earth life. So when it is time or when you choose to, you know, you can choose or whenever you and your guardians agree that, you know, your um, tour of duty is over. Um, you'll go and then you'll continue your ascension, you'll continue your transformation, you know, you'll get your rainbow rays, you'll get your diamonds, um, your diamond body, you'll get transformed. So, that being said, um, 
just be aware that you can be placed in a box. So if you feel like, oh, you're stiff or he's stiff or she's stiff, you have been placed in a box. Okay, your whole world is like a box. The um the go uh the government and the military use something as it's they use a yellow cube, so you'll be placed on like a yellow cube. Um and that's their way of controlling your life. Um so they control your perception or they want to I constantly do deal with the yellow cube. I do. You know, just because they just because I've been sleeping and haven't Actually, I think that this was assigned to me because I, I always talk about on my channel. I remember being um, a child, maybe two, three, and dealing with these things. So I feel like that also kind of lets me know who I am. It's like, and that also should let us know and, and awaken us to know that who we are is really does really shine bright. Okay, who we are really does shine bright and it does attract these people. And who we are now isn't who we, um, as a baby, you have your real self still attached to you like your true self that hasn't really um you haven't really you're not old enough to even embody yet but it's still attached to you so what does that mean that means that that higher self of yours is attached to you and that thing sees your higher self and you're feeling the war that is happening between your higher self and this thing even as a child even though you feel like oh, i'm just a child why is this happening that why that is happening um so that being said yeah so like i said just be aware they have you know the government and the army uses a yellow cube so i deal with the yellow cube daily like it's like they come and they just talk to me all that they just want they know that i know <laughs> this is why i don't understand why they do it they know that I know, so I kind of feel like they're just visiting me sometimes, even though I know that they're angry as hell, that I do know, so that they really can't really control my, you know, they really can't control us, because to be honest, they have the yellow cube, and to be honest, we have auras, and our aura is supposed to change color when we kind of master, so if we, if you think about it, if you really understand what ascension is, when they're running all of these programs to control your life, you'll never truly get your colors or get your rays because whatever programs they want to run is not going to allow you to master, let's say, stability in your life. Stability being rooted and grounded and being stable. Your roots are never really going to form if they're constantly doing that. Um, if you want to master confidence, if they are constantly doing that, you're never going to master. So your aura, you're never going to get out of that zone of whatever color they're trying to place you in or whatever box. You're never going to get that. Or if you're trying to master love, you're never going to get that color if they're constantly doing whatever program that they want to do. So you're never going to get that love, um, health, whatever it is. So you have to just be careful and be aware. Like our aura, they do mess with our aura. We have a big aura. Okay, we, our aura is very important. Your aura is extremely important. So you just have to be aware. So you have black boxes too. This is something the government uses too. So you have black boxes all over the world. What do black boxes do? They put, what do they do? They assimilate life. A lot of us don't know that we are supposed to be connected to the rays natural rays that come from the ground that come from the elements that come from the sun that come from the earth that come from the wind that come from the cosmos so a lot of us are not aware that we are supposed to have natural energy so what do these black boxes do they can give you even false energy like there's false kundalini you know there's something called false kundalini so you have to kind of be aware that they are false kundalini, which attracts false partners. So these structures, we are structures. So if you understand that we are structures, they are structures, you must build yourself. You have to kind of understand that the yellow cube is the government. And more, normally what the, I know the, I tell you the government is a bunch of black, which is a bunch of black men, and I talk to them all the fucking time. <laughs> it's like, that constantly cursing me out because they hate my channel for one. Um, and I know all about their false ascension teachers. So it's like I know everything and I'm a black woman and I'm not supposed to do this and I'm not supposed to do that. And I 
They want to put me where they've put everyone else. And it just can't really, you know, they really don't have any control of me. So, yeah, they're constantly flying over my head. And they're constantly flying in my job. You know, and, and it's okay because we are we are time travelers ourselves. This is why we have a, this is why we're called the Ascension Vehicle. So we are time travelers. So it is, it is okay that they are traveling because I'm a time traveler too. They don't like that we are time travelers. You know, they don't, they don't want us to free ourselves from these structures and these layers of shit that they have placed on us. No, they don't want us to be able to free our ascension body or our vehicle, our spirit or our soul or our mind. Let me tell you, we talk to them all day. We curse each other out. We fight. We argue. We fight over territory. We do. That's what ascension is. Okay? It's like, I know you're lying. You really can't have this part of the world. Or I know that you don't really have, you're not really supposed to be in this person's life. You got to get it. You know, so you'll get used in whatever capacity you, you allow your guardians to use you. Um, and I get hammered with all things. They call me all kinds of things. Oh my God. They're very disrespectful. <laughs> you know, some of these entities that are, that are inhabiting people, they can transform. Oh, they've tried to kill me many times. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have, you know. We have militarization strategies on star seeds too. Oh, don't think that star seeds are free beings. Star seeds have the ability to free others and to help others, and that's something that they really don't want. Because I do have a loved one of mine that has really suffered a huge tragedy in his life, and I am so hell bent on making sure that he ascends to his appropriate destination and that he does get restitution in this lifetime. For what was sent to him. Um, and they know that I know all things. And so the fact that they won't be able to use him. To enemy pattern someone else. And I'm hell bent on getting him. Where he needs to be. So you can understand that. We're kind of going to even battle. For possibly people that have also passed away. Um, so there's just a lot of stuff. So when you have this power. As a star seed. Or earth seed. Or a light worker. Or. You know, whatever you consider yourself for. Indigo. Um, you have so much power. You have power they have. Not a lot of people know that. And so do you really think that they really want to lose that power that they have? I mean, we're not, I'm not anybody's savior. And I damn sure don't need any saving. You know, I'm not saving nobody. And I don't want nobody to try to save my black ass neither. I don't need saving from anybody. Um, because all that is nonsense. I'm perfect. You're perfect. We're all perfect. We don't need salvation. There's nothing to salvage. Only our knowledge and our mind. Um, so that being said, I'm not anybody's savior. Okay, I'm not saving anybody. Okay, I used to. Because I've always been very... Like I said, this is a battle that I was born into because they kind of knew who I was. And um, my higher self kind of was very strong even as a child. So they were always visiting me, even as a damn child. I used to be looking at them, like, all the time, even as a child, not knowing what's really going on in the in the higher realms. I'm really not really, you know, as a child, you don't know these things. Yet. So but a lot of people do know that I am very, very versed in, you know, paranormal or whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, so that being said, yes. I'm not saving anyone. I used to save people. I used to think saving people was good. People used to want me to save them because I was so strong. People used to know I can deal with anything and I can, but that's for me. That's my gift. That's not my gift to the world. Um, um, people will never become God and channel that God energy if we are constantly always saving them. Um, there are some people that you're supposed to save, for example, children. You know, children, I, I am always interacting with children. Like, you know, like the other day I was just somewhere and like she wanted to come with me. You know, like you're, you know, little star children and children that exist in other portals and other realms and have probably suffered tragedy or, you know, got stuck in these little time portals and stuff like that. And sometimes they become your children. One, spiritually first. And then two, real. You know, some of you will possibly have to probably rescue some of these little indigo babies and some of these little crystal children that exist in these portals and got stuck, you know, 
suffer tragedy from eons and eons and eons ago, like when I was telling you when the patriarchs murdered the matriarchs, children could have got stuck there and you could be possibly having to rescue their spirit and then their spirit comes to you and then you possibly have that child. Um, or they just, you know, they just want to talk to you. Sometimes they just like, you know, they see you and they know you're good. And I don't really even want to say good. But they know that you're full of love or that you relate to their spirit. Like their spirit recognizes that your spirit recognizes them. And so sometimes they just want to talk to you. Um, sometimes they just want to be in your in your environment because you have pleasant aura or you have pleasant energy or your guardians have something to you or you know for whatever reason so this is all a part of that mind you they have the other coin of this every good thing has a bad i hate i don't really want to be but it's the truth though um and that's you know purification of time split you know there are other sides of that we have alien children like the grays and that is who, I, who I'm constantly, oh my god, <sighs> the great aliens, oh, the great aliens, and this, I, I do, because uh, I want to, I, I kind of do, you know, I don't like them, you know, they don't like me either, they want to be star seeds, they're not star seeds, they're aliens, you know, they're hostile, they're not star seeds. A lot of you probably have been dealing with the Greys and the Zetas, and you probably don't even know that they work closely with, you know, they work closely with the government. You know, they provide technology. You know, they provide technology. Like I said, your guardians have light ships, and they, their ETs have light ships too. So you have to be very, and oh, do the Greys and the Zetas have words for me? So, and they have their children too, and you don't want to have anything to do with them. You don't want to have anything to do with us. So you have to be careful. These are things you have to discern. You have to discern the grays and the zetas and the darkies to children. And you have the regular indigo children and crystal children and yada, yada, yada. So there's like a battle too for the earth inhabitants. Who's going to populate? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? So you have to be very careful. And the grays are constantly up my ass. And the Zetas are constantly, and so that's kind of like that love bite scenario. Um, you know, a lot of people have been love bit, and this is why their relationships and their marriages are full of shit because they didn't know that they've been loved by because they didn't know that these boxes and these structures and these programs were running in their life, and then they've been bit. So, I know a lot of people who are in married but miserable, so that's what they do, they run sexual misery. Um, you, you can be married and still be miserable as hell. So, um, you just have to be very careful about that. So, yeah, be aware. You have alien children, you have hybrid children, you have alien children, and you have hybrid children, but, and then you have crystal children, and indigo children, and divine children. So, there's two, and they're battling constantly. You know, they're constantly um, battling. You know, because, also because they might have been in your bloodline for many they might have been they might have been reincarnated in your bloodline i'm sure the grays have some type of connection especially because the grays provide technology to the military the military is heavily involved in the church so if you kind of have church affiliations you kind of have gray affiliations and you don't know um things to do i used to have church affiliations now i don't but you can imagine they don't really want to lose me because then i could probably get some other folk out of that nonsense um so you know you just have to be careful um like i said i'm sure that they have been in my family i see it you know now that i'm very awakened i see them in my family they've created a lot of imbalances in my lineage for many 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 possibly many eons that's probably why as a child this battle began with me very 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 early because i probably was always the one in my family to always win because I do win you know I do win in life it is what it is I always kind of get what I want um but I always do go through that battle um I do I'm like the only one that lives in Netherlands and everybody else lives there and still on these mindsets and still go to church and clap their hands and pain tides and pain off and it's lost still um still don't know why you know, but they won't listen. So, you know, what are you going to do? I don't really care. <laughs> you know, 
Um, but that being said, yeah, so these entities, you know, the Zetas and the Greys have, have not probably have been in my bloodline um, many, many eons. And they, um, they are part of history. They have their own history. They are parts of society. They are parts of the world. They really are. So a lot of your divine masculine, a lot of your divine masculine who you think could possibly be one, a Grey, a Zeta, or a military person when you think that this is your divine masculine or your divine feminine or whoever and this is what they are and they're really not star seeds just so you know this so if you are um you know just be very careful and then you have regular watchers i've been dealing with you know watchers i deal with watch and these are not things for us to be scared about but these are just things for us to know just so that you know what's going on so you're not lost and like what in the world they're all regular watchers. They're, they're, they just are what they are. You know, and then you have regular satanic. You have different categories. You know, you have different categories of beings and levels and things that are here. It's not just us. We're not alone, you know. And the more that we can accept this and the, the more that we can ascend, the more that we can become masters. We can be ascended masters and we can understand that they're all watchers. I deal with, I've been dealing with a watcher you know he watches you know and it is what it is he's a watcher you know until he gets out of line i don't have to get out of line and that's how i deal with things once you don't get out of line i won't get out of line but if you get out of line i will put you back in line so that's really how i inter choose to interact with the government they get out of line i get out of line military gets out of line i get out of line they have a lot of technology they get their technology from ETs. The government is really ran by ETs. I keep saying shadow government, but they're really the same thing. I mean, government, shadow government, it's the same thing to me. They're really the same thing, you know? They can transform themselves. I can transform them. Um, they, um, you know, so you have to be very careful. You know, we're on this journey. Be patient. If you are divine feminine, just be aware of all of these things, these, um, Government officials can definitely be acting like your divine masculine or divine, you know, to watch you keep your ass in line. This is what they want to do. We're living in heavy patriarch domination, so you have to be very mindful. You know, these government agents really always try to act like my counterpart. They really do. I mean, I'm my own fucking counterpart, but they refuse to allow me to really... Not that they have a say in who I become or what I become or what I do. I also run transmissions, like direct transmissions. Like I tell you, direct emissions and I really run direct rays and connect with my audience and I'm constantly opening channels of energy um, to give us nutrients. We need nutrients. You know, a lot of us don't know that we need nutrients. We keep eating this food, but we need this food and we need nutrients. So, if you don't like that, you know. And so they constantly are trying to portray themselves as, oh, I am your divine masculine. No, you're, you're dot, dot, dot government official who you work for. Oh, there are many layers to the government. Oh, we got many types of ETs attached to that government. Trust me, they're constantly trying to be here everywhere that I go, you know, trying to. But they know that they can't do that. I mean, I think they're bored or I think... They're really in denial. They have huge egos. You know, a lot of these ETs that are dark, they come from egoic places. And so, constantly having to take their ego down and, you know, do what I say I'm going to do. So, just be aware that you're the, you're the government heavily acts like they're your divine masculine. And they're really not. Then you have Luciferian mother. I was about to say. Then you have Luciferian people too that act like they're divine masculine and they're not and then you have the shadow government that acts like you're divine masculine and they're not. you have to be very careful you have to know what is going on with you so um just be very careful you got a lot of forces that don't want true divine union here true divine union is not what we think it is um true divine union is a structure okay it is a structure it is a template it is not, oh, you get along with this person, you're your divine masculine. Oh, you're attracted to this person, that's your divine feminine. That's not at all. It's very not even, it's not at all a physical thing. 
Um, your divine masculine can be in another uni universe. More than likely, if you have a, if you truly have a divine counterpart, and you truly he and you and him truly interact, he exists in another universe. Okay, and they probably don't want you to, uh, you know, interact with him more. You know, um, they constantly send clones. You know, they're constantly sending clones, or they're constantly using. Trust me, they have a lot of anti, a lot of anti divine union. Um, technology. So when I say that divine coupling is technology based, it's technology based. You have to really be very intuitive. You have to do a lot of research to really connect with your divine masculine. They have programs that are designed to send people who are false partners into your energy field. There are, and they do it to me all, well, I work in a huge company, which is what they, which is where they do it at. Um, large areas of group, is my company is huge. So every program that is inorganic is there. Every structure that is inorganic is there. Just because the territory is huge. So you can imagine the work that I do. It's very chaotic because it is a huge population of people that can either one, depending on if I do it or not, can change it. You know, um, like the other day we had a company event and it was so amazing. Oh my God. So we had every, just about every race there and we had such an amazing time. And you know, they did not like that. I could feel the resistance. I could feel the hatred. When all we had all of the races in a room together, laughing, dining together, enjoying each other's company, exchanging energy, they don't want that. I can feel the, them in the energy, like, really pissed off. You have every single race there, tribe, and everybody just had an amazing time. And it was so beautiful and I was so happy. It was so, it was like a freaking miracle because you know that and you can't really have that here. They want to incite race wars. I don't know what country you're in or where you live at, but they want to incite race wars. They want to do racism, sexism, genderism, all kind of stuff to make us hate each other. I I can hear them. Oh, she doesn't like you or he doesn't like you or that, 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 or just trying to create, you know, just trying that's what these beams are doing. That's what these little microchips. You know, we can't really see these little microchips, but that's why you do grid work. Because there's technology placed in certain places to incite fear, to incite hate, to incite war. So when I say, oh, I'm time traveling, or I'm going here, this is not going to be used for war this is not going to be used for hate this is not going to be used to turn a whole community into lesbians um this is not going to be used to turn into a whole community into bisexuals a lot of you are not gay a lot of you are not bisexual a lot of you are not there's nothing wrong with it but it, it's not normal for you okay it's not this is technology yes sexuality is technology so you have to be careful oh they tried to turn me into a lesbian so many times but it's not real. It, it is, but it's, but that's also a way that they stop divine union. So you have to be very, very careful. There's a lot. Just saw 4848, which is 1212, which is what the masculine really is supposed to spin that he's supposed to spin at 121212. 12, 12. It's not 1111. 11. It's not 1111. 1111 11 is distorted. He's supposed to be 121212. 12, 12. That is the correct magnetic alignment for you and him. Um, him and you, whatever. Um, and so, you know, a lot of these entities, a lot of these groups do not want masculine 1212 here. They want masculine 10, masculine 11. So these are structures and these are mechanisms. And so they use technology to try to make you spin at that level to bring you this distorted person these distorted people so you have to kind of know where you it's all technology okay um so just be aware of that 
Um, just be aware you have a lot of false tarot readers, you know, a lot of false tarot readers. So be careful with these psychics that you go to. A lot of them are, don't know about these things. And so you, the information you can get about him can be false. The information you get about you can be a lot of these people don't know anything. This is all technology. So you have to be very careful. Like my house is always busy. My life is always busy because I know so much. I'm a black woman and I know a lot. And I can... um. I can do a lot. I have done a lot. And I should go no further. You know, many times they have definite. So you have to be very careful. They always kind of want to threaten your life too. Oh my God. They always want to threaten your life. They always want to threaten your security, your finances, your everything. They always want to threaten your finances, your career. Your, you know, they're, I'm a very powerful person. I feel like even though I'm always, you know, fluffy, fluffy. um, I'm always fluffy, fluffy. I'm just very powerful as well. And so they're always trying to turn me into the opposite, you know, turn turn me into some little, I don't know, male order boy. I don't know, princess. You got to be very careful about these. There's a program called Be a Princess, okay? There's a program called Be a Princess where you're delusional, where you think some little knight in shining armor is going to come and rescue you or marry you and save you from poverty or to save you from a miserable life or he's going to save you so this is delusion it's okay you don't first of all the first step into understanding that is understanding that you are divine masculine and there are no gender roles and so nobody is supposed to save you from anything okay you're not supposed to require anybody to save you from anything you're supposed to be able to save your damn self and you're not supposed to be needing saving from anything so these princess codes keeps one women and men in balance okay it keeps men and women in balance, okay? And so he therefore treats you a certain way because you're lesser, because that's what a princess is. He, she's someone who's dependent on him. Um, so you have to be careful. Um, this is why I'm constantly, this is why they are constantly harassing me at work because I make too, too much money. I have too much mouth. I'm just too much, you know? I So I have to be get under a thumb of a man. You know, I have to get under a thumb of a man. Um, it's just not gonna happen. I have so much resources available to me financially that I don't really need. Um, not that I don't need a man, but like I don't really need to really worry about finances, and that's not something a lot of women can really say. Um, so you can really imagine, <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm still young, but I'm not all that young. So you can just imagine they really want to get me to be some delusional woman who really feels like oh i'm going to not that i can't not that there's anything wrong with marrying a rich man okay i'm not this i am never in my life going to tell you not to marry a rich person but your perception and your mentality and who you are as a person marrying a rich person has to be very on point there has to be equality in that relationship um, there has to be respect in that relationship. The way he views you, the way he treats you, the way you feel around him is very important. So I'm never going to say, don't marry a rich person. I would never say that. I'm all for money. Um, my channel is definitely money oriented. I definitely send um, you energy to receive your money, to get money, to be money mind oriented. Because money is energy. Money is magic. It's either good magic or black magic running money. And so you should always be able to use your magic to make money. Um, like I said, so I'm all for money. I'm not one of those channels. Um, I support your, or, or I support all your dreams. Um, I do believe in dreams. I do believe that you can change the universe. I do believe that you're supposed to have a dream. You're supposed to go for it too. So I'm not one of those people that feel like, oh, you can't have a dream or you're starcy. You can't be working at a corporation or you can't run a corporate or you can't be that way or you can't do this. No, I'm not here to limit you in any way, shape, or form. But what I'm talking about is there's a certain type of archetype in the world right now where you are a princess and you're constantly in trouble. You can never get your ass out of any trouble. And that has never been me. But that they want that to be me so that I can be married to some miserable ass man just because he might have money. Um... And then so that he can always be one taking his anger out on me. I'm just telling you what the program is about. The archetype where 
you are this little princess and he you are a princess and so he's able to treat you however he wants to treat you because he takes care of you mind you you can be taken care of and he respects you which i have experienced in my life i have been with me uh, actually every man that i've been with has highly regarded me and highly respected me because i'm a very intelligent person but I have a lot to offer and I clearly I have a lot to offer so they really kind of already know that but now that I'm out here doing this they that's what they would want they would want me to be some damsel in distress oh she's always having problems. she always needs a man to take care of mind you I've never needed a man. I never needed a man to take care of mind you my family just does but it's kind of, there's respect there. There's understanding that she's very intelligent. She can kick your ass. She can F you up. You know, like there's that respect here, but this program is not for that. This program is to um, make you very small, you know, make you very insignificant in the relationship. Very, I'm talking about in the, this is the archetype of this princess program that is being ran here, where the masculine is just allowed to treat you anyway does not have to have respect for you is not kind to you is not regard it just does not regard your career just does not regard you as a person your thoughts your individuality he does not respect you you are this big he is this big you know like it is just very in un and very unequal relationship um and you're very delusional if you believe that this is the way a man is supposed to treat you because um, you need saving. You're very delusional if you think you need saving or if, oh, he's going to come save you or he's you're stuck somewhere on this tower. And But these are what they're running. You know, this is that princess program. This is also technology that they run where you're a fucking princess. And they do this all. I don't know. I don't know why. They just want to piss me off. Because they know I'm a very cross person. Um, I don't really take shit from anyone. Um, and I'm kind of trying to, trying to find that balance within myself as well. Where I'm not too far over the edge. You know, I don't really always want to take off his head either. You know, I don't always want to do that either. But I don't want him taking off my head either. You know, so there's always just trying to find that balance um, within self. Because if you don't, they're going to make you who you are. So if you really feel like, oh, your masculine is supposed to be this high above you and you're supposed to just be like laying on him. No, you're supposed to be here with each other. Okay, you're so that's what this is. That's what Ascension is about. Marrying the perfect balance between femininity and marrying the perfect balance of masculinity. That is what divine union is about. Not about material things. It is about the energies really balancing. You respect, he respects. You are charitable, he is charitable. You are honest, he is honest. You are calm, he is calm. You are honest, he is honest. Um, You're not abusive, he's not abusive. Um, This is what this is. It is not waiting for some anybody to just come and rescue you um you know waiting for some man to come rescue you or anything of that nature you have to be careful a lot of you have already you know been placed in these situations you didn't know i'm kind of glad that i was very close but not really able to really be captured and placed into these different anomalies that exist within relationships so um i'm very grateful and i'm very happy i, I control a lot I know a lot, and therefore, the more you know, the more you can do. So be careful. This is the message I have for you. If you have any questions, please do comment below. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can always donate to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.